Let's meet our next legend of the evening. Our final ACC football legend was a three-time All-ACC punter for Wake Forest and earned consensus All-America honors in 1973 as a senior when he led the nation averaging nearly 45 yards per punt. Following his senior year, he was invited to the Blue-Gray East-West Shrine and Hula Bowl All-Star Games. He spent eight productive seasons in the NFL and was named to the New York Jets all-time four-decade team in 2003. Please welcome from the Wake Forest Demon Deacons legend, Chuck Ramsey. Now that we have these guys out of the way, we can interview some athletes, right? <laughs> Absolutely, we got it. Hey, not only were your punts incredible with hang time and consistency, uh, you, you're, you were so consistent. Every punt per game and through a season was about a half a yard difference. It was very little. Why, why the consistency? What were the mechanics that allowed you to be so consistent? Adrenaline. Ugly guys running at you at full speed. Uh, you just drop it, just try to kick the devil out of it. Forty years later, you uh, you still hold. Now get this, folks. He still holds the Atlantic Coast Conference record for most punt yards in one game. Six hundred and one yards punting in a game. I don't know if this is about your kicking or about your offense, but but, but uh, what? what? How does it feel to still have a piece of the record book? And that's a record to be proud of? <laughs> it's, uh, I hope it's broken one day so guys like you stop talking about it. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's pretty incredible. You know, all, all, all jokes aside, White Forest has become somewhat of a mecca for great punters over the years of yourself. You know, Ryan Plackemeyer, Sam Swank, you know, why, what is it about that school that attracts so many outstanding kickers and players? Fourth down. <laughs> and the fact is you have a lot of those, <laughs> if we could ever get to fourth down. People may not realize that, you know, and I've run across a number of young kickers uh, today, and that's one of the things you do. You mentor young young punters, uh, and, and I, in fact, I know one very closely. When you, when you start with a young player, what is the first piece of advice you give a young man about? If you want to become a punter, you want to compete at that level, what do you need to do? Well, what I do is I work with kickers uh, and punters. And I've worked with them where they are now. I don't try to change things unless, unless they're just way out in left field. Uh, and an uh, odd story, I just found this out tonight. We both live in Knoxville, Jerry and I. And I work with a punter over there who is punting tomorrow night for the state championship. And his son, Logan, who I know well, is the long snapper for this punter that I've been working with since May. And I didn't even know this guy until tonight. And he walks up and says he's got to leave after tonight's dinner to go to the state championship game tomorrow night. But what I do is I, I like to work with kids that, uh, that are starting out so they won't get into any sort of bad habits. And I just try to steer them and, and show them that, say, if punting, that the drop is the most important part of the kick. And then, like a, 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 a Jake that I work with at your son's high school, I just try to enhance what he already has without changing a whole lot. You know, Chuck, you were special in so many ways at Wake Forest and now as an instructor. But one thing I, I, one thing I think people need to remember, may, may not know, is that when you punted, you did it with a sock and no shoe. You, as a quarterback, you took your shoe off and punted with a sock and then punted barefoot even in the NFL. How tough was that to do? I mean, socks only. It depended on how cold it was. Uh, actually, I, I was not a soccer style place kicker. I, I wore a square toe kicking shoe straight on. And so I quarterback in that. And then at whenever it come fourth down, I would just slip it off, throw it to the sideline and punt in a sock. Uh, and in fact, I ran into my quarterback coach here 
earlier tonight. I didn't know whether to hug him or run. But uh, anyway, so I was fortunate enough to be able to lead the nation in punting, had a good career in a sock, so that when I got to the NFL, I just continued punting in a sock. And so as a quarterback, you guaranteed yourself a chance to punt more often, right? Thank you very much, Terry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Chuck Ramsey, Demon Deacon, Legend. Ladies and gentlemen, how about, let me have you gentlemen said, how about one more round of applause? The class of 2015 Atlantic Coast Conference football legend. This has been a very special night. We appreciate all of you coming.